one way to make an entrance, huh? How are you doing, buddy? Good, and you? Good. Det kan bli en liten sak. Det kan bli en sak. Ja, det kan bli en sak. Ja, det kan bli en sak. So the the whole point of this today is, you know, Leipzig is a really cool cool city. That's uh, you know university town. A lot of young people here. Um, obviously, there's the football team that Red Bull are owning, and it's an opportunity to come and uh, take a meal in uh, the back of the two seater, take him a little tour around, and uh, film some nice clips and create some great content. The thing I really love about this two-seater is it's the, the closest you can really give a passenger the sensation of what it is to drive a Grand Prix car. This particular one runs a V10 engine, so it's not the modern hybrid engine, but actually I think that's even better because it's so raw and you feel the vibration through your back. The noise is incredible as well. So, uh, you know, anyone who normally has the privilege to go in the back of this car comes out going, wow, that's, that's so intense. Well, this is actually my second time in Leipzig. So I've had the, the pleasure of visiting this place before and uh, enjoying, not maybe in such nice weather, but enjoying a little bit the city. And I think that uh, it, it's a young city. It, it's uh, not in terms of its lifespan, but I mean in terms of the population here, uh, university city. And I think that um, there's just an energy and a vibe here that really makes it feel like it's, it's coming up. 
As a Scotsman, it's very difficult to really be a big soccer fan because other than our, uh, you know, our domestic league, uh, the, the national team doesn't tend to go that far. We're a small country, but of course, soccer is, uh, and football is such a big part of British culture and it has to be the biggest sport globally um, that you cannot fail to be aware of what's happening in, in football. And it's, it's more than a sport, it's a way of life for so many people, it's a passion. Uh, it dictates the mood of a, of a city, depending on the, the success or failure of a team. So in that respect, I think that it's uh, one of the great sports that really unites people. Well, I think that Emil has made his journey from, as I understand it, the north of Sweden to, to be playing here. Um, I think to, to be a part of the national team as well is something that he can be very proud of. And I think any of the athletes involved uh, here at uh, you know, Red Bull Leipzig or, or football or sport generally understand that the commitment is not once you make it to being a professional, the commitment has been there along the way, every step of the way. So I, I think that irrespective of the sport that we choose, sports people, men and women, have the same DNA. We know that you have to push yourself further than you ever imagined was possible. You know that you need a team of people to have success. And uh, we know how lucky we are to be professionals, because that means we get paid to do what we would do for free, because it's our passion.